Hello everyone, I am the Undabble, that is a super mutant behemoth behind me, and this is the Evergreen Mills Foundry, a place full of raiders, slavers, slaves, and somehow a super mutant. It's located right here, just directly to the south of Fort Bannister, and just to the east of Smith Casey's garage, his shitty garage. But anyway, this is a place where this big guy is trapped, and there's also a little other something to learn within the building itself. Let's go take a look, shall we? So first of all, you're going to have to go to here and get the Evergreen Mills Slave Pen Key. This key is located in this place. The Guardhouse. And in relation to everything else, this is where the Guardhouse is located. So climb up here and get the key. But first of all, we're going to go in the foundry itself, because there's quite a little bit of tidbits of knowledge you can scouse in here. So the place is a shithole. It's got an assortment of beds. It's got an assortment of boxes. It's got an assortment of, you know, urine-soaked mattresses. And also these terminals that, oddly enough, there you can't get any data on them. Either the keyboard's disconnected or the data is uh, corrupted. But uh, it's kind of weird, okay? I haven't seen it before in Fallout. But we're going to go right here into the bazaar, sir. So, the bazaar. So the bazaar is an underground cave network where there's a bartenders, there's a place to buy stuff, there's a her house, and also some Nuka-Cola Quantum, as you can see. So you're going to have to kill a lot of people if you go down here, but that's okay because killing raiders is fun. They don't deserve to live. They're cunts. So, they're... Is the traitor and straight ahead is what is known as a her house or a slut hole and this is where people who can't actually get a girlfriend or talk to girls come to have sex yes so you're gonna go up here and you're gonna see some whores and you're gonna see some guy with the whores and oddly enough they sleep inside places with lots of children's toys that's really creepy so I don't not really know what to comment on that you can steal their money and stuff yeah, not much to see up here apart from the gratification of knowing you've read the waste of a couple of whores, really. So, once you're done in here, then you can go to the traitor. He's a name of Smiling Jack. Now, Smiling Jack will not shoot you unless you shoot him, so don't do that, okay? He's got an assortment of weapons and good gear he can sell you, and to the left here is a locker that says Smiling Jack's Locker. Now, I have not actually figured out how to open this thing. I couldn't find a key, or even spawn a key in, so if you can figure that out, go ahead. So there's a lot of shit in here you can pick up. You can make a lot of makeshift bombs with it. I don't know, just stuff. The place is a shithole, okay? There's some ammo to scrunch. And also one very, very special item. Through this little hole to the side here, if you jump over the counter, you can get the Bolt Heck Bobblehead for Bertrand. Now, of course, for me, this did nothing because I'm already level 29 and my barter's full. But um, for you, it'll increase it by 10 points. And apart from that, there's not much else to be seen down here other than to steal the stuff. So, you can then go upstairs and see a couple of other things, mainly another terminal. The terminal here, its keyboard is connected, but this time the data is corrupted or destroyed. It can't be read. So, I don't know what these raiders did, but whatever they did, fucked us over, and we can no longer find out what this place was all about. <laughs> that rhymed. Anyway, so you can go in here, see some, what I assume to be the head honcho's bed. You can loot a safe. And in here you can find a very purposely placed um, fat man, which I'm sure was probably meant for you to kill the behemoth with. But we're better than that, we're more heroic than that. We'll kill the behemoth the right way, don't you worry about that. But there isn't anything else to be found inside, so let's go outside and kill him. So the electric gate is in the way, and you will get shocked if you try to open it while the generator is still in one piece. So if I was you, I would rectify that by blowing the generator to kingdom the fuck come. But first of all, if you progress up here onto these corrugated iron roofs, you can actually get onto the roof of this building here. This will actually allow you a perfect view into the behemoth's pen, and from there you can do the heroic thing and shoot it while it can't actually get to you. It's not cowardly, I promise. So this is how I killed it, because killing the behemoth, you know, 
normally is really fucking hard. So I was a man and I did it that way. But you can you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it if you want. Um, I'm not that stupid. I don't want to die. But yeah, you get shocked if you do that. So first of all, blow up this generator. There we go. And then use the key. Then look at that. You've got a corpse of behemoth to do with what you will, and um, you get 92 bottle caps. Yeah, that's sort of a ship prize, I won't, I'm not gonna lie. You can also free these guys, but as you'll see right here, Why they're a bunch of fucking miserable cunts, and even after you free them, they're just cheeky and rude. Yeah, you get karma, but frankly, if I wish you, I'd just Please put a lot of them down. Lizzy cunts. Could've climbed over the gates, not them stopping them. So that's it, that's Evergreen Foundry, Mills, whatever. Super Mutant Behemoth, no idea how they actually managed to catch it. It should have been able to smash through that fence, no problem. Smiling Jack, a shifty cunt, but he sells you good stuff, so, you know, buy it off him. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, favourite, subscribe, and always share it on social media and stuff. Uh, Meteor Circle if you want to get updates on my content regularly. And any suggestions for a future episode, please leave it in the comments section below. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next episode. Goodbye. What's this cunt doing? Die. Yeah. Walk into my fucking evergreen mills, you shit. That's what you get. Hello there. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, any comments and feedback on anything you think I did right and anything you think I did wrong are appreciated. Any feedback on what you think the next episode should be, please leave it in the comment section below or follow me at the Nth Apple for more updates and to interact with me or ask me any questions. I have linked a video above that I think you will also like. Go and watch it if you want to. If you don't, that's fair enough too, I guess. And I hope I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.